my God, you guys. Okay. Wow. (laughs) I can't even begin to tell you what the past 26 hours has looked like for me and my team. Hold up. Okay. So I want to start off by saying jackandroxanne.com. It is live. It is ready for you to shop. It is secure. But I want to explain to you exactly what happened because literally when I say that my team did not sleep last night more than just a couple of hours to get to the bottom of this, long story short, my website was attacked and it's called a DD. OS attack. Your information, your banking information, your credit cards, everything is completely safe and completely secure. But what's happening is an individual is attacking my website to try to take it down and it's overloading my servers. And so therefore we're literally like playing game where a server is being attacked. It's kicking you guys off the website. It's showing errors. It's kicking out of your cart. And then we have to shut that server down. It has been an absolute nightmare, but we are live. (laughs) Okay. If you are able to purchase, your order is going through. We are fulfilling all the orders right now. A lot of people have been nervous, like, okay, like, you know, you said your website isn't working, but it is working and I'm able to purchase. Am I going to get my product? The answer is yes. A million times. Yes. If you are able to get through, you are going to receive your product. Obviously on the back end, you guys know that we're going to work tirelessly to make sure tirelessly we're going to work we're going to work our asses off to make sure that this problem gets solved but everything is safe and secure so do not worry about anything like that nothing is sold out yet which is amazing i'm so happy and although i've been under this attack for the past day i can't believe how many orders were still able to come in like you guys really pushed hard and what's also insane is the same sort of attack Um, The DDoS attack literally happened to FedEx earlier today and shut down FedEx worldwide for several hours. So it's been completely out of my control, but I am so thankful for your patience, you guys. Wow. (sighs) Wow. Okay, I'm also just going to link a 60-second video right here from Google that explains what a DDoS attack means for any of you. I'm just trying to give you all the information, you know, for any of you who feel like, what is this? Or you just like want to know a little bit more. I'm going to link it for you right here. So you just watch this little tidbit and see exactly what it is and feel maybe like a little bit more secure about your experience. Also, you guys know that I'm keeping it together right here on camera, but you know me and you know that when this camera is off, I'm like, "Mm -hmm. who who fucking does this? (laughs) Who just like, you know, attacks websites for fun? (laughs) I know I'm getting so many different DMs from people saying, oh my God, yes, I placed my order. Thank you to the other people say, I can't get on the website or I can't check out. And I just want to say, you guys, I I know I am so sorry when I say that we're literally doing anything that we possibly can to make this work. It's just so frustrating because for me, it's completely out of my control. Like we literally have someone who is attacking my site and shutting down my servers. So at this point, we are looking into every option, even like shutting down the entire site at some point, rebuilding on a hold, like with a whole different platform. But in the meantime, again, if you're able to get through, your order is being packaged. We have thousands and thousands of orders already, which is crazy. And my warehouse is working so hard getting all those orders shipped out for you. Hey everyone, how are you doing? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today is just another update about Jacqueline Hill, aka Jacqueline Roxanne, her jewelry line. So she gave us an update and she is still going on about how she got hacked and cyber attacked. And she also said that FedEx also got attacked. I did a lot of research and I couldn't find any information about FedEx coming out and saying they got cyber attacked. If you guys have any more information about FedEx getting attacked, then please let me know in the comments below. Again, I want to put out facts. I don't want to put out misinformation. If I'm wrong, then please let me know. I'm not afraid or ashamed to admit when I'm wrong. But here again with Jacqueline Hill, blaming everyone except herself. She has enough resources to put out a beautiful product launch line. But every product launch, everything that she puts out, 
turns to poop. I think this is just her branding style, is to just put out negativity on her launch day, and then the next day, or a couple days after all that drama, it sells even more. One of her products, one of her jewelry pieces, she actually copied from another designer, and she actually got exposed for this. The only thing that she did differently was the piece in the back that held it together. But other than that, I've been watching a lot of other YouTubers make videos about this and a lot of the people in the comments are very, very mean, rude, and nasty, which I am not about. A lot of people are saying that her jewelry line looks tacky, it looks costumey, it looks bad, and I think those people are just low life haters. Honestly, her jewelry line, it's beautiful. Point blank period. It's beautiful. Is it something new and exciting? No, absolutely not. It's just a new face who is selling the same type of jewelry where you can go and buy at a thrift store. You, you feeling me? You know what I mean? Like, I wish Jaclyn Hill all the best, but I'm not excited for this product, but I hope everyone that got their product and bought the jewelry, I hope they get their money's worth out of it and have a lot of fun with it. Me, personally, I will never support Jaclyn Hill or any other YouTuber online because I couldn't find all of their information that they try to sell, scam artists try to sell you, online for free, I could go to a thrift store, I could shop anywhere else and get the products and the items like 50% cheaper than buying it from a YouTuber. No hate, no tea, no shade, just the honest truth. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below.